morning, guys. Right, welcome to Friday's class. So we'll have another minute or so while we get ready for the class. While it make sure to get everyone in that is joining us today. So just bear with me. Okay, so make sure you've got your water on hand. Um, I'll show you that in a second which um, bits of equipment we can use today. So we'll give it one more minute. In the meantime, um, I'll show you what we've got, uh, what we can use today in the class. So, towel, so just a regular towel. If you can, the best way is just take it outside today so you can see it's a bit windy. So we'll just fold that over a few times and then just leave that like that. Okay, pop that to one side. So I've got bench here for the exercise um, we're going to do dips today using the bench you can also use a, a chair and um, if you're in the living room you can use a sofa just anything to lean on for that exercise there all right so if you have something handy that you can use for that and lastly I'm going to use a plate but you can also use um, you could do this on the stairs anything which just raises you off the floor slightly so I've got a plate today so a few inches thick that this is for when we get to the calf raises okay so anything that can just elevate you off the ground uh, a couple of inches all right so those are the bits of equipment we need we won't need them just yet for the warm-up we're going to get into that now all right so if everyone's ready let's get to it so just a jog on the spot to kick us off guys so nice and easy so we're not doing anything strenuous at the moment it's just nice and light so heels coming off ever so slightly there It's about another 15 seconds. I'm going to do 10 seconds high knees, 10 seconds heel kicks twice. Okay, three, two, one, go. So from the side, we're going knees up past the waist. And then 10 seconds heel kicks. And back to the high knees. Nice and quick, this one. And heel kicks again, last time. Give them legs a little shake off. We'll do some side lunges next. Five one side, and five the other. Down. Back to the start. We're looking to loosen off with these to try and get as much range as we can each side. Back to the start. Okay, we're onto the floor now. We're going to do some shoulder taps. Ten of these each side. Keep the body as still as possible. Okay, so we'll alternate where so you can see on this side that I'm not tilting as I go. So we're not doing that. 
วนอีกวนอะไรก่อนโอเค so once we've done ten of them each side we're gonna bind it back now ten glue bridges so the knots go on the tips up as high as possible squeeze the bone at the top Now it's ten super magnets. These were laid flat down. Okay, no point. Up and then down. So I'm trying to arch the back, arms forward, feet come up, trying to keep them together. On the front, so just a few more reps. Well done, so that'll do for the warm up today. We've got bodybuilding session, which is three different parts to this. Um, three exercises per section. We're going to do arms, we're going to do legs, and we're going to do abs. So I'll show you. I'll show you the three exercises at a time, just so I'm not overloading you with information. After we go through each section, we'll have a little bit chance to catch your breath in that time. I'll demo the next three. Okay, so we're going to start with the arms. So we will need the towel on this one. Um, if you don't have a towel handy, you can also use um, Tinder food bottles. Just have one in each hand. Okay. So we have got the towel. To make use with what, with what we've got at home, depending on how long your towel is, you might need to tighten that up. What we're going to do, keep it tight there, so we keep the apart, and then we're going to bring squeeze there. So we're trying to feel the lats, to these big back muscles, switching on. Again, go back apart, bum goes back. Bring that in. So if we're not squeezing, we're not actively contracting the muscle, we're not going to get much out of this movement. So try and really feel the tension throughout. So slow and controlled. Okay, so that's your first one. Second one is the dips. So I mentioned before, if you've got a bench, chair, anything will come in handy for this. We keep the legs out straight, so keep back. That's going to be the most difficult variation where the legs are straight. You want to scale that back and bring the knees in. The closer the knees come in, the easier that's going to get. second one. Third movement um, is a challenging one, it's called a dive bomber press up. Variations we can do as well. Scales, we can do that. Few different variations there. Each exercise we're going to do three times. We're going to do 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. Change movements each time so that's three rounds of that. Okay? Right, let's get ready. I'll set the timer up then we'll get to it.
Okay, guys, here we go. So, grab your towel and go run. 20 seconds control. Squeeze in the back. Notice my bums push right back. Back is flat. Pulling that apart and bringing it in. We've got the dips. Remember, where we have the feet determines the difficulty on this one. Most challenging out there. Jesus. Everything else stays the same. That way, the legs will be helping out. So bring them out a little bit further. Next, a dive bomber push up or a regular push up, whichever one you choose. Okay, and then that'll be one round done. Here we go. Get to it, so chest down. And then we go. On the knees. Again. Right, so this is a tough one that stick with a movement that you can do good quality reps on form is always the most important thing right so we're back to this one got the tension there and we're away Squeeze the back as we go. So from the side. Got to be pulling this apart to get the most out of the movement. Keep back down there. Back to the dips. So after this round, just one more to go. Keep that intensity up. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Just really want to feel them triceps burning on this one. Remember, if it gets too much rather than rest, bring their knees in, let the legs help out the arms. Okay. Dive bomb push ups. Don't mind which variation we're doing as well. We need to use that bench absolutely fine. Most important thing that we're working, good technique for 20 seconds. Here we go. That's relaxed, that's under tension, that's where we want to be. Off we go. One back, bringing the back. So the back and the biceps, the way we want to feel this. So big back muscles there, the lats. And your biceps. Okay, that's that one done. Two exercises to go. Then we get a short rest. Back to the dips. Okay, let's get to it. So there's a burn of this one. 
remember just trying to power through to your last time doing them. It's getting tough. Rain. Then feet in. Carry on working. Give a little shake off. Let's get ready to go on the push-ups. Last movement for the upper body. We'll have a little rest and go through your next few exercises. Three, two, one, here we go. Going through different variations we could do that. Brilliant. Okay. Very pleased with that. So good start everyone. Now is the time to have a quick break. So if you grab a drink and um, catch your breath, and I'll go through the next few movements in a moment. Quick demo of the three exercises we're going to do on this one. So we're going for the lower body. So calf raises. See that. All doing on these. Just try and control it down as best you can. Again, you can use the stairs if you want anything to hold on for. Yeah, ideally you can hold on to your banister. Um, anything where you can raise yourself up off the floor just by a few inches and half raise it. So if you don't have anything, you can just do them there. You can also add some weight to it's totally up to you. It just wants to be 20 seconds of hard work. Next one we want to do donkey kicks. Just do one side. So this one we feel it in the glutes. So it's only as challenging as you make it on this one. Really try. You want to try and engage the muscles that were targeted. So if you just go through the motions, you're not going to get out of it. Whereas if I go there, you squeeze the bum at the top, you get a much better workout. Okay, and then the last one, the lateral leg raise. So let's go up. Control there. Okay. So on this one, if you're doing the, if you've got two, if you've got unilateral work on there, rather than going back and forth each time, on the first round, we'll do all one side, and the second round, we'll do all the other, and then on the third round, we'll do half and half. Okay. I'll keep you right as I go. Follow my lead. Those are the three movements. Let's get ready. So we're starting off with calf raises. Twenty seconds work. So try and control down as best you can. Difficult to do. But you do get more out of it. That's your first one. So the donkey kicks. You're going to stick to one side. Okay, so let's get ready. Squeeze. 20 seconds, guys. Um, 
this one. If you don't find it as challenging enough, you can always go into a side plank and then do it. That does make it a lot tougher. Otherwise, we're just going to keep the hips slightly off the floor and raise them. 20 seconds control. So we're not just going through the motions like that. Always under control. 20 seconds. One more in. Okay, back to the calf raises. Again, if you find these not challenging enough, then add some weight, slow the movement down, and get more. Out of it. Does take some practice to get tempo right. Just do your best. Okay. 20 seconds rest. Then we're back into the donkey kicks. Just gonna alternate which leg we're using. So again, squeeze the bum at the top. And big kick to the sky. One more. Okay, lateral leg raise. Twenty seconds on this side, then that's two rounds complete. Okay, guys, here we go. Guys, as high as we can, control it on the way down. So it's actively lowering the movement, resting. Yeah, you're not just letting the leg drop down. Okay, one more round. Back to it, calf raises. After this, we'll have a short breather, and then we've got the ab circuit next. Same again, Exercise. squeeze at the top, lower. This one. Okay, so this has been the third and final round. On the next two exercises, we're just going to switch halfway. Okay, don't worry if you run over a little bit more. Got that rest coming up. Okay. Ten seconds on each side. Switch. Try and get the same amount of reps in. Each side if possible. Okay, next one lateral leg raise. Slowly down. Change over. Rest. See him in on both sides. And that is your low body circuit complete. We're going to have a short breather. So, again, grab a little drink and then we've got our abs circuit to finish. So, three more exercises. Have a breather and then. I'll get the demonstrations done, and then we'll get straight to it.
Right guys, so while you're recovering, let me go through the next couple of exercises. So first one is sit-ups. <clears throat> variation we're gonna do is called a diamond sit-up. Feet together, knees pushed out, we're gonna hit the abs with more doing it this way. Hands to the floor, and then forward. If you struggle with these, you can either grab something heavy, or you can tuck your feet under table, uh, sofa, anything like that to wedge your feet under. So it can serve as an anchor. But I'm gonna use a weight there. Okay, makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so that's the first one. Next one, we're gonna do heel, uh, hand heel touches. So. Position, forward leaning rest position that is basically flat back, um, shoulders just on the wrist, that's your starting spot. Okay, so again, it's 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. And that one we are going to alternate, we're going to go left arm, right arm, left arm, right arm, all the way through. Then, last one single leg inchworm to push up. Let me demonstrate a bit of a mouthful of these. So we are challenging. I'll show you a couple of variations. So single leg. Give yourself a little bit more room. I'll show you another variation. So same with the single leg. Hands to the floor. Walk it out. And then we'll go into a push-up. If you need to go knees for the push-up, that's fine. Let's try and walk it back there. So we want to be feeling the abs, the hamstrings, and then the chest and shoulders when we actually do the push-up. Okay, so on that side, we'll do again one, one round on the left leg, one on the right, and half and half at the end. Okay, let's get to it. Here we go, sit ups first. So, diamond sit up position. And off we go. Try and use momentum to fire yourself forward. That's it. Keep it going, guys. Well done. Okay. So hand heel touches now. So we're going in the FLR position. We'll tear your shoulders out. The main muscle group we're here, one of one we're working is the abs. Try not let your heels get up, to, uh, your hips get up too high. So we want to try and stay in that position. Try and do that. Just take a bit of coordination, that's all. Good work if you got through that one on scale. And inchworm to push up now, single leg. So you try not to bring the knee forward. Walk it out. And if we need to go, Knees for the push up. Fine. Okay, one round down. Back to the sit ups. Two rounds to go, guys. And that's it. Wedge them feet underneath, something, pop a weight on, scale that. The reason we're 
is when we do it like this rather than knees in. So we're not tightening up the hip flexor, which is this muscle here, and we're hitting the abs more. Okay. Get ready to go again. A little tip on these, if you take your feet a bit wider to start with, you'll be a bit more balanced. Guys, keep pushing. Yeah, on the single leg inch worth of push up, we're going to go on the right leg now. Walk them hands out and back to the start. Okay, one round to go. Back to the sit ups. Keep that effort up just a little bit longer now. If we go. the same amount of reps in each round. Okay, that's the sit-ups done. Two exercises left. Again, wide stance, keeping the shoulders and the hips about the same height. Here we go. Okay, last one. So we'll just get, try and get a couple of reps on each side on this. The last one, so don't worry if it runs over slightly. Let's see if we can get to each side. Here we go. Same on this side. Even it up. Brilliant. Well, thanks everyone who has made it this far. Well done. So that's a main workout over. Do a couple of quick stretches now, and then that's us done. Okay. So first, do a few upper body stretches, so one arm right in front of the other, get that shoulder stretched, we'll just do a quick full body routine. And same on the other side, if you feel any particular muscle group is a bit tighter than normal, then just give it a little bit more time. Triceps. So we're really trying to bring that elbow in as close as we can so the hand goes down towards the middle of the back. Do a tricep stretch in there. Same on the other side. Stretch the 
calves as well as the knee stance moving forward so we're stretching the calf and that back leg interlock the fingers stretch the back as we go so it should be back leg that we're stretching there both feet flat to the floor back to the center switch legs this time, we're going to put the hands into the lower back, bring the shoulders back and feeling that in the chest. Hold it a few more seconds. And if you're particularly tight here, just give it a little bit longer. Okay, so next one, I'm going to do stretch of the abs and the back. stretch that's a bit too difficult go to the forearms it's a bit easy get your hands back as far as you can hold that another 15 seconds or so get a little further into the stretch if you can and then child's pose to finish back Another 20 seconds in this one. You should be feeling that on the lats. Make sure the arms are straight on this. Carefully come out. And that's your workout done. So, excellent work, guys. Thanks for everyone for tuning in this first week. Um, by all means, let me know if you have any questions, feedback, um, get in touch with myself or Andrew. And thanks again, guys, for another great session. And I'll see you hopefully all on Monday. Have a great weekend.